Marcus Conti reporting. I'll do a reading from uh, Think About the Useful Idiots. The Useful Idiots in Our World. Their most faithful disciples were the two cart horses, Boxer and Clover. Those two had great difficulty in thinking anything out for themselves. But having once accepted the pigs as their teachers, they absorbed everything that they were told and passed it on to the other animals by simple arguments. They were unfailing in their attendance at the secret meetings in the barn and led the singing of the beasts of England, which was the ending of every meeting. Now, as it turns out, the rebellion was achieved much easier and much earlier than anyone had expected. In past years, Mr. Jones, although a hard master, had been a capable farmer, but of late he had fallen on evil days. He had become much disheartened after losing money in a lawsuit and had taken to drinking more than was good for him. For whole days at a time, he would lounge in the Windsor chair in the kitchen, reading the newspaper, drinking, and occasionally feeding Moses, the crow, on crusts of bread soaked in beer. His men were idle and dishonest. The fields were full of weeds. The buildings wanted roofing. The hedges were neglected. And the animals were underfed. Now think about just, I mean, to me, that's uh, it's Animal Farm, George Orwell. But if you think about Boxer and Clover, the two useful idiots that simply repeat whatever the master tells them. CNN, MSNBC, right? You just watched a whole, you watch CNN in, in almost a day shift from 24-7 coverage of fake conspiracy theory, Russiagate, and now they're spewing out Healthcare, the Republicans are against healthcare. You see how, they, how the master, the master, which is, I guess, deep state, government, whoever, the politicians, are now spewing out nonsense that uh, they're trying to shift the, the gear away from, from Russiagate. So, so sometimes where the news, sometimes, sometimes as, a, as, a, as a guy reporting the news, I'm reporting the news, and sometimes I end the news. And I think in, in, this, um, in this very, very dire time of censorship, uh, people that, truth tellers, people in, in YouTube that are coming out, simply speaking their mind and speaking the truth as they see it, are now becoming vilified and, and uh, censored. And now, uh, you know, again, I'm, I've, be, I've become a victim of that. So I want to just show you the latest, you know. People still don't know where we are, where I am right now. They don't know that... I'm getting emails from people that say, "Well, what happened? The last video you made was about the mob, the mob hit." And and you know, <laughs> as if I got I was a victim of the mob hit, right? Like I just fell out of out of the woodwork, but they don't know that I'm making videos right here. Right? So, here's the uh I just want to go quickly. So, these are the community gu- guidelines. The original video was a warning, deleted mosque shooting video, right? Appeal rejected. <laughs> what a joke. Right? Now, another strike just came in. Um, that's the strike that caused me to be off for a week. Disappearing cartridges versus victim testimony at Christchurch shooting. They're all about New Zealand up to now, right? But now there's another one I'll show you. All right, so um, all of these, uh, this was the bullying and harassment for talking about it, for just simply referring to the the uh, argument that the cartridges in the picture, it seemed not to be, they seem to have been disappearing. So th- that's all. It was just a healthy discussion and talking about the victims, which was a really good discussion. But that's bullying and harassment, according to, according to the pigs. The other one that was just, uh, this was deleted, I think, uh, I don't know, yesterday. Full video, full deleted video, mosque shooting, uh, Christchurch terror attack on New Zealand, right? So this is um, a discussion. There was no footage or anything. It was just me walking, walking with my, you know, my my uh, camera uh, in the park, talking about it. Deleted, right? Deleted from from the record, right? Still monetization disabled, upload disabled, live stream disabled, custom thumbnails disabled. Obviously, I'm I'm 
I'm posting on a separate channel, but but my the audience that you spend a year building up and all the videos associated with that are now in the balance, right? Because they'll just delete your account. Right? So here's here's the uh, again removed, deleted video removed, right? Some features disabled, which means you get a warning message before you watch the video. That's fine with me. I don't care about that. That's like the uh, that's like the 1990s where you got a, you know, where you got a parental parental guidance, parental advisory before you listen to the song. That made that makes your your album's you know sales double. But deleting stuff is really really foul. Right? Deleting and and in, and then blocking someone from speaking is just obscene. So here's a new one, right? This is also yesterday. Uh, your video, Jew Logic. Uh, UN panel says Israel shot children in Gaza. Israel says UN are Jew haters. Was flagged by our community. Uh, flagged by our community. Fuck you, right? So it it this is not deleted. It's still there. This is this gets a warning. Imagine that shit. So I was going to report on this subject right here. Then I'm never going to say it because. It's so it's so horrible that you can't even talk about it about these people right here and and uh, where we are inside and all that stuff you know, but uh, you you know in this place and and uh, and and look they they did this over and and uh, it's it's that you know it's a story about the the poor people that 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 something happened in this place and you're not allowed to talk about it so I'm not going to talk about it fuck you right I'm just gonna. Delete that page from the from the record, right? Because you're not allowed to talk about it. So you're not why why you gonna you want to whitewash everything and you want to delete history and you want to erase the 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 you want to erase history. Go ahead. So I just I just I'm not gonna help you push your stupid stories. So Trump tried to do something clever, right? Right now I want to I'm gonna talk about. Um, Oh, well, why am I, I? I'm I'm black, by the way, right? You didn't know that. I'm 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 now officially black. This is my mother, right? Because it's safer. I want to be on the side of safe. I want to be on the side of. I want to be protected. I feel like I'm not protected anymore, right? Because I'm white, or I was white, or at least I identified myself as white. That stuff I told you about being, you know, Italian, white, growing up. That's all bullshit. I'm really my. This is my mother. I, how I ended up like this, I don't know. But this is my mother. Right? That's my father. Right? Right? So, you know, that's it's true. I mean, I, I'm I'm a I'm actually a, a gay black uh, Jew, right? And um, that's my mother. Isn't she beautiful? And that's my sister. That's my sister. I again, I I don't I don't really know how I ended up how I ended up like this. But uh, I did. I mean, it's just, I guess it's just a fucking roll of the dice, right? So, so it's safer. I mean, I can't be discriminated against because I'm now a minority. I identify myself as a minority. So, so I could say, I could talk about Jews because I am a Jew. I could talk about blacks because I am a black. And I could talk about, you know, you know, my fat Chinese sister because I am, you know, I, I can, I, she's my sister. We came from the same womb. Uh, so, but Trump tried to do something very, very interesting, and I think it's a big flop. Look at the, you remember the executive order the other day? Improving free inquiry, transparency, and accountability at colleges and universities. What it was, it started as a free speech rant, but there's not much in it. It's seven pages. I went through it. The purpose of this order is to enhance the quality of post-secondary education by making it more affordable, more transparent, and more accountable. Institutions of higher education should be accountable both for students' outcome fuck you right what does it say in particular administrator administrations seek to promote free and open debate on colleges and university campuses free inquiry is an essential feature of our nation's democracy and it promotes learning scientific discovery and economic prosperity we must encourage institutions to appropriately account for their bedrock principle in their administration of student life and to avoid creating environments that stifle competitive perspectives, thereby potentially impeding beneficial research and undermining learning. 
right? And then he goes on to talk about it in some nonsense. It's all about student uh, loans, right? Expunge the loans. If you feel bad about it, expunge the loans. And uh, yeah, you make the colleges and uni- make them free. Free college tuition at city and state universities. That's the answer, you idiot. This stuff gets my blood boiling. Right. So, so what else? There's, there was one other line in this whole goddamn thing. Here, section 2A. Encourage institutions to foster environments that promote open, intellectually engaging, and diverse debate including through compliance with the First Amendment for public institutions and compliance with state stated institutional policies regarding freedom of speech for private institutions. That's bullshit right there, because the First Amendment covers all institutions. Sorry, Trump. This is a, this is a piece of shit. This, this order is fucking bull-fucking-shit. Right. So... Moving right along, Facebook, right? So censorship is is alive and well. Campuses, well, fuck you. How about the electronic medium? So if you saw this yesterday, Facebook put this news out of the newsroom in Facebook. Facebook is now uh, discriminating against anyone who who says white or white separatist or white supremacist. No speech on that. Not allowed. It's now hate speech. Right? So... As these companies, you know, circle the bottom, we're, we're all, unfortunately, circle the, you know, the drain, ready to go down. We're all stuck in it because we're all, we've all, you know, I guess stated our, you know, our, we, we've placed ourselves there. We've parked ourselves there and allowed ourselves to, to, to allow them to rule over us in a sense, right? Rather than going out and getting our own websites and all that stuff. It's, it, it's crazy. It's really crazy. I don't know where it all uh, it leads, but here, let's just look at this for a second. Right? While we're still here. Our policies have, today we, we're announcing a ban on praise, support, and representation of white nationalism and white <coughs> separatism on Facebook and Instagram, which we'll start enforcing next week. Uh, it, what the hell you're going to trust Facebook. You're going to trust Facebook to, uh, pray, to, to define praise and support. What is praise and support? Their, their, their um, uh, ability, their right to, to exist is praise. Their right to speech <laughs> is praise. How ridiculous. Because that's what it will come down to. You're not even allowed now to say, yeah, they should have a right to speech. That's praise, and then they'll, they'll, they'll censor you. So you're not even allowed really to talk about them. The only thing you're allowed to do is, is denigrate them and say, how dare them, they're white nationalists, racist, blah, 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 and you're allowed to only spoo venom, venom at them. This is encouraging racism. This is encouraging discrimination. This is encouraging hate speech. Our policies have long prohibited hateful treatment of people based on characteristics such as race, ethnicity, or religion. Right? It, it's, all, it's all bullshit. So we're going the wrong way, right? We are going in the wrong direction. What about, what about so, so there we go, right? Blacks, I mean whites, white, white people are not allowed to say that they, they believe in, a, in, in, in their nationality or their white heritage or whatever, whatever it means, right? Or, or they believe that maybe they're a little smarter than someone else. Or, or you know, is that, is, that a, is that a terrible thing to say? I mean, some people have just, I don't believe all people are created equal. I think that, that, I think that some people have, you know, like for, you know, like for example, in autistic people, you study it and they have this enormous aptitude for music and, and uh, memory and such. But they can't sew a sentence together, or they can't feed themselves, or they don't know how to tie their shoes. Right? So it, I, I believe that intelligence balances out. Right? And, and at, at certain times in history, call it evolution, that some people are better at certain things than others. Some are technically smarter right, than others, regardless of race or whatever. But, but that is just a fact, and that's something that, that is, is obvious. It's obvious in human character. But 
what about historic black colleges? Well, what is this college right here? There's, there's Howard University that uh, the good Camilla Harris, the presidential campaign, the presidential hopeful black woman from L.A., right? Is attorney general is went to a racist black school, all black. No, no, all black. Right. So here's 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 the brotherhood. Let's check the shit out, man. The only school that I applied to. Walking down Brown Street and having people acknowledging you and affirming you. That's something that all black do school. Here, and I love that part of the culture shock. Southern hospitality is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Students here, they are extremely hardworking and creative. We produce more black attorneys. We produce the most black doctors. Everybody around you, they're black students. They're black artists. This place is sacred. I think this is a safe space for black students. And this school was going to challenge me in ways that I probably would not have gotten at other institutions. And a safe space? Uh, uh, sacred, sacred, sacred. He said sacred, safe space. A beautiful wow. thing. <laughs> Students here, they are extremely oh hardworking and creative. We produce more black attorneys. We produce the most black doctors. Everybody around you, they're black students. They're black artists. This place is sacred. I think this is a safe space for black students and this school was gonna challenge me in ways that I probably would not have gotten at other institutions. And if we had white people just coming in here, I will feel disrespected. <laughs> for black what? students and this school was gonna challenge me in ways that I probably would not have gotten at other institutions. And if we had Could you imagine if this gentleman just said just just replace black instead of white? When he says black, when he says white, just imagine the consequences of if if a white person said black. Just imagine that for one second. Just join me for one second. Imagine that. Institutions. And if we had white people just coming in here, I will feel disrespected. If that was a room full of whites, and he said, and if we had black people come in here, I would feel disrespected. Could you imagine the outrage? But this is on YouTube. Five million views. No, no. With, with advertisements, look, it's monetized. This is a monetized video of a black man outwardly, outwardly declaring whites to feel that if he had to go to school with whites, he would feel disrespected. Now, this, is there a double standard? Here it is, Monroe College, right? Look at all, look at all the, the, the photos. Blacks. Proud black. Is it a bad thing? Am I against it? No, I don't give a fucking flying fucking fucking fucky fuck. Right? Be whatever you want. Who gives a shit? More, you just go and be yourself. Who cares? What do I give a shit? But why do you give a shit? Why do you give such a shit about a bunch of people that that are proud Americans that that are European descent are white and they're not allowed to speak? This is a fucking disgrace, man. This is a disgrace. So, so I guess I just have to, I guess we all have to be, we all have to flip the script and say we're all black. We're all Jewish, right? Those are the protected classes now. Jewish, black, gay, right? If you say you're one of those, then you got no problem, right? Then, cause, but, but, it's, but, but being white in America is a ter terrible thing to do. Terrible thing to be right now. What a fucking what a time we live in, man. You know, it's just it's um look, I I mean I'm 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 okay with it. I mean I, I, I think that uh that it is a really troubled time. I think it is it is corporate corporate driven. I think it's it's politically driven that there has to be corporate corporate corporations have to find the wedge. They have to find a way to separate people, right? And they cannot lose control of that narrative, right? 2016, I know people think, oh, Trump, the, the whole thing, the whole Russiagate was about Trump, but it really wasn't. It was, about, it was about a rigged primary, a rigged democratic entity, right, that the whole thing is corrupted and still is corrupted, steeply corrupted, you know, political party. Republicans are no better. Their, their, their weakness is money, but the, well, they're both, they're both parties, the weakness is money, but the Republicans... 
stand they stand in a different way. They it's a different it's a different animal. But but with the Democrats, the wedge is they believe that they got to get all the blacks on their team, right? And then separate it from the whites, push the whites out. Anybody who votes for Trump is now a white nationalist. That'll be the that that'll be the theme. And that'll be illegal. That'll be you're not allowed allowed to talk. It's technically illegal on Facebook. You're not allowed to talk about it or they'll delete your account. They'll censor you for for having a healthy argument with a if you're white and they're black or they're Jewish or they're a pro-black and you're pro-white. You can be pro-black, but I'm not allowed to be pro-white or that guy over there is not allowed to be pro-white because I'm black. But, but the point is that, that th- these are the times we're living in, that the, the hypocrisy and the, um, the, 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 just the lunacy of the whole thing is, uh, is staggeringly obvious. What's your opinion? Put the help me out here, you know. By the way, spread the word that I'm over here. I, I know a lot of people don't. They, they're saying, you know, what it can't get whacked by the mob for talking about it. Kindly do 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 me a favor and uh, tell people that I'm over here at least until I think it's next Monday. What's today? Wednesday or Thursday? What's today? Today's Thursday. Yeah, by Monday we'll be we should be back on the the real channel. And uh, Marcus Conti reporting.